Greg, as coronavirus cases fall across the region, health officials have noticed a concerning trend. Not enough children are being vaccinated. A Memphis mother hopes that her son experience motivates kids and parents to take action. Tamara Watkins is counting her blessings after her son was recently released from the hospital. Just to see my child in a, in a situation where he was kind of asking me, you know, well, mom, is this how it ends? It was just a, it was an experience that I wouldn't want to wish on anyone. Watkins' 15-year-old son spent nearly two weeks in the hospital battling COVID-19. For her, the most difficult part was watching him become a shell of himself. He couldn't breathe on his own, or he couldn't uh, feed himself, or he couldn't bathe himself, or even like the simplest task as to use the restroom. I had to be there for him. The city of Memphis is launching a new initiative aimed at increasing vaccination rates among youth. It is a matter of life and death. I Griffith, director of Memphis Office of Youth Services, has organized a forum where they will discuss the importance of children being vaccinated. We're losing too many of our young people, and I think if we can educate them, letting them know that their age group right now is being targeted, and it's so very important that we make them aware of the casualties that the COVID-19 is producing. The majority of COVID cases across Memphis are among the unvaccinated. Watkins' son was unvaccinated when he was hospitalized. It's a decision she now regrets and hopes that others think twice who choosing not to get the shot. You have the choice to protect your family. And I really feel like if you, if you haven't had the vaccination or if your children that are of age that can get it, just give them a chance to live. Give them a chance to not have to experience what my son had to experience. Tomorrow, the city of Memphis is hosting a youth symposium where they will talk about the importance of children being vaccinated. For more on that event, you can head over to our website, WREG.com, and click on that story. Reporting here live in the Medical District, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.